This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Melvin versus Reed. You've been together two years, you're living together, and you're engaged. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Melvin, tell me how you met Mr. Reed. Well, we knew each other in grade school. He had a crush on me, and I didn't know. Oh, my. But 17 years later, we had met at the store. And how long ago was that? I mean, from today. I'm gonna say two years ago. Okay, so two years ago... Yes, ma'am. ...you reconnected after knowing each other in grade school. Yes, ma'am. And you found out when you saw him that he had a crush on you all that time. The whole time, I never knew. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Reed! <laughs> So, what did you do? What made you step up to her at this point and tell her, I, I got a thing for you? Well, I seen her at the store and everything. I was getting gas. Uh huh. I walked towards the store. I glanced. I looked. I said, That's barbershop. We started smiling at one another. Uh huh. So, I went to the store, paid for the gas. Came back out. She said, Can I get $5? I said, She said, It's my birthday. I'm like, Here, here you go. I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Now, I've heard a lot of lines in my day. Yeah. Not that I've used them, but I've uh, heard them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Give me $5. That's my... It's my birthday. It's my birthday. And that works? It worked. I guess it did work. Okay. So, you made this little love connection. What was the next step? How did y'all move from there? Basically, I waited... Waited to call him to come over. Okay. But it, it was not going down like that. You ain't gonna get none of my cookies. Okay, uh, so... <laughs> you see how she did? It was a... It was like the carrot and then no carrot. <laughs> <laughs> No carrot. <laughs> Except he gave the carrot and then didn't get the carrot. Yeah. That's part of his yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, so... Wh you... Whatever works, so... <laughs> so, this sounds lovely. You reconnect, you're taking your time to move forward. Why do you believe he's cheating? What has gotten you here in this courtroom today? Okay, um, me and him was, me, me and him was in bed. He called me, called me another, another name, another girl name on top of that. You are in bed together, and he calls out another woman's another name? Another name. Right. So... So, so what know, happened? He tried to play sleep. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. So, okay. when you said this other woman's name, he said he didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah. Player 101, mm -hmm. you don't call out another woman's name. Player <laughs> 101? <laughs> Thank you. You know... <laughs> look, I've been out the game a long time. That rule has not changed <laughs> from way back in the day before I met Miss Cutler. That 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 rule has you not changed. You were fired one time. <laughs> this is news to me. I'm like, you were player. When you say player, look, I'm just talking about the game. How the game? Don't hate the player. Hate the game. No, I. You said you've been out the game a long time. When were you playing? Before I met you. <laughs> you got to keep up. Before I met you. But I don't ever remember you saying you were playing. You always said you were, you know, Steady Eddie. I was Steady Eddie enough to know not to call out another woman's name <laughs> in the presence of another woman. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. So, this other woman's name you called out, is this an ex-girlfriend? No. Someone uh, you have had a relationship with? No. So, you believe that he called out her name because that's a woman he's involved with? That's somebody he, that, that he want to be with calling her name. Do you That's think he's been with her already? I don't know. But, but you I think it's a possibility? It's a possibility. Do you have any other evidence that Mr. Reed is cheating? Okay, like on Fridays, the girls would call him on Fridays. Every Friday now. They, they wouldn't call none during the week but except on Fridays when he got paid. And he wasn't bringing all the money home that he got paid from. So I'm like, where's the money going? What women are calling you on Friday for money? They're calling for money on Friday. I give them to her. I got Con Hart. I gave her five dollars. That been Con Hart. So you just birthday. give it. People call you up and you just give them your money? Yeah, as long as they pay me back. They ain't pay him back, ma'am. But they ain't pay me back though. They are uh, now. I learned my lesson. Oh, Miss Miss Melvin, <laughs> Miss Melvin, are these these are women that are calling him? Women, yes, yeah, sir. And I feel like if you got a girlfriend, why are you gonna give them money? They need to go get a job or get a man with some money. But don't get it from mine, you know? You can't yeah. do that. These women are women that you know. Yes, ma'am. Are these women you've been intimate with? No, ma'am. Just... Friends. Friends. Mm. And they call you... Nothing more, nothing less. Friends. And how... Are you giving them $5, $10, $100? You should buy a little more than that. But I'm the type of person, I don't say no to nobody. She asks for something, I don't say no. I'll give it to her. And okay, I, but... And I think that's Miss Melvin's concern. You, you give them loving in addition to the money? No, I'll give them money. Mm. 
That's hard. That's hard to believe now because ain't you're no man gonna get... give no woman no money for free. I was gonna say you're not getting anything in return. No, no, ma'am. Just a smile. Just a smile. Keep yeah. on going. <laughs> and the way you, you look at it, you of don't it. believe none of it. None, none of, it. of it. You believe that he's not only giving away money, he's getting he, something back. For he, that. Yeah, he's swinging something else to him too. So my question is, have you ever caught Mr. Reed with another woman? To, um, I will in the bathroom. He was, he was, he was on, on FaceTime with another woman. Okay. Tell me what happened. Okay, I got home from work. He, he, well, he wasn't expecting me to come home early. So I got off early, so I surprised him. So he in the bathroom. I'm like, okay. I, 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 well, first when I went to, went to the bathroom door, I heard him talking. So I was like, who, who was you talking to? And, and the bathroom door was locked. I banged on the door, banged on the door about three times, and he didn't answer. So I, so I went to the door and I just kicked it in, honey. <laughs> I'm the bomb for it. Did. Kicked it in, the door fell on the hinges. He jumped in the bathtub. I said, what you jumping for? What you jumping for? It's no need for you to jump in the bathtub and you ain't doing nothing wrong. Okay, you literally kicked in the door? Yes, ma'am. I got pictures if you want to see. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see that. <laughs> Ron, would, you, you would you please hand us that? <laughs> So I had, you, you, you don't just... really look big enough to kick in a door. Whenever <laughs> somebody make you mad, you stronger than what you is. She took this thing off the hinges. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard another woman in the bathroom with your man. Mm -hmm. You're she like, asked, what's going on? And you just kicked the door down. She is your girlfriend home, your girlfriend home. So you're standing outside the door. Yeah, He's so in the bathroom. You hear him I talking to another woman. Mm -hmm. And you hear the woman say, is your girlfriend home? So I'm uh, like, okay, open the door, Raymond. Who, who's on the phone? Open the door. He didn't want to open it, so I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> and so he jumps, and you're like, what you jumping for? What you jumping for if you ain't got nothing to hide? Who was on the phone? Oh, yeah. That, 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 well, that, and that's my question, Mr. He, Reed. Who was on the phone? As a friend. Okay, why you got to be it locked was, up was, in the bathroom was, talking to your friend? With a door lock. I took my phone in the bathroom because it's case of an emergency. Just in case she called, uh, I might be in the bathroom listening to my music. Okay, but... Uh, she got home early that day. I didn't expect that. You're in the house by yourself, mm -hmm. right? What? Who are you locking out of the bathroom? I'm in the house by myself. I don't trust nobody. They might come in on me. <laughs> okay, who was the woman that you were talking about? You said she was a friend. A friend. Is this someone you've ever been intimate with? No, 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 no. But, but did you hear her knocking on the door? You heard me knocking? Yeah, but at the same time, I was talking to her, but when she kicked in the door, I jumped in the shower. I, I thought it was a hurricane, also an uh, earthquake. <laughs> then I say, uh, I looked up, I thought she was dragging in the bathroom. I was like, okay, Hurricane Barbara. <sighs> okay, so you kick in the door. Yes, what does that conversation look like with him? He told me, well, he jumped in the tub to my said, what's wrong with you, what's wrong with you? I said, who was that on the phone? He said, nobody, nobody, a friend. I said, it had to be more than a friend. More than a friend than you going in the bathroom talking on the phone, locking the door, and you heard me knocking, why didn't you open? So I guess you, I guess you like her more than you like me. So your belief is... That's how I felt about it. That's why I got real angry, and you know, that, that, that door had to come down between us. I needed to get him. <laughs> so your belief is he was talking to a girlfriend? The same one, he, the same name he called, that's what I think. Oh, oh so you think it's the, the yeah, person whose name he yelled out? Mm -hmm. If you find out that he is, in fact, cheating, what happens between the two of you? We're not... Well, for one, we're not getting married, and he got to find somewhere else to go, because I don't need, I don't need no, no cheating man with me. And I'm faithful. I don't need that. Well, to get to the bottom of this, this court has done a full investigation, starting with a data analysis of Mr. Reed's phone. And we have those results. Ron, would you please escort into the courtroom our cybersecurity expert, Mr. Gregory Evans? Yes, Sean. Hey, Mr. Evans, how are you? I'm good, Your Honor, and yourself. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Glad to see you. It's good Thanks. to see you. All right, let's dive right into this. Okay. Uh, what did you do in this case? In this particular case, I had to do a full fledged investigation. I pulled everything from the defendant's cell phone except for his fingerprints. Wow. What I don't understand is, is why people think they can fake me out by deleting information, so... or hiding their SIM cards, mm -hmm. such as... In this particular case, one thing I retrieved from the defendant's cell phone... And you're not gonna believe this. First thing I looked at was his web browsing history. Okay. When I looked at his web browsing history, four days 
before the courts requested his cell phone, he was Googling, get this now, on his cell phone, how to delete information off the phone. So what he didn't realize is that you have the capability to go back and find everything he's deleted. Everything he's deleted on this phone. Huh. So what were you trying to hide, Mr. Reed? Ain't nothing. I want to find out. All right, so Mr. Evans, what did you uncover? Because I know you found something. <laughs> I believe, Your Honor, that Mr. Reed tried to undermine this court, tried to bamboozle me by deleting the information, thinking he was going to get away with it. Mm. And most people he may have, but, you know, I'm a different type of computer geek, right? So, <laughs> the first thing I realized in his phone, I found two deleted apps that he had on his phone. One of those deleted apps was a popular dating app that he signed up for four months ago at 11.30 p.m. <laughs> okay. And this is the app, and this is showing his registration to this dating app. And he signed up for that four months ago? Yes, ma'am. You all yes, were a couple four months yes, ago. Yes, ma'am. So you're yes. trying to figure out why would he need to be on a date now? Because I seen it on her phone. Can I ask So that, that was your reason? Because you uh, saw it on I her, saw phone. her phone. And I went on her page, she got single on hers. Really? <sighs> That's what you got? Mr. Evans, did you find anything else? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that the defendant signed up for another site called Ebony Flirt. Now, this is a new one to me. Now, when you go to the website, it says, Naughty Black Singles mm. Near You Tonight. Oh. I also found a private message of women sending him explicit pictures of their private parts just a week ago. Oh, my God. One <laughs> even came in while I was investigating his phone. Now, as you what, see here... Wait, while you had the phone in your possession? While I had the phone, it was a pop-up in the thing, and I boom, and I was like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> right? Why in the world have you signed up for that? No, I'm saying that's old. He said that was a week ago. That was a week. He, he said while he had the uh, phone, they were trying to get in touch with you. Through my email. I was trying to... You... you and this is one of the, but one of the deleted apps, right? So he's been trying to hide by not using apps going through his web browsers as well. Okay, because most people, when you look in somebody's phone and she picked up the phone, she's looking for the apps or just looking at his sex messages. This was in his browser. Miss Melvin, <laughs> what, what is going through your mind right now? I, I, I don't feel like he loved me. You know, I don't feel like I'm welcomed by him. Tell him <laughs> what is spawning those tears. Because I feel like you planned me. You went on this a week ago, and then the, the POF, I mean, you could have came to me as a man and talked to me. You know that been on my phone. No, I didn't. You, you go through my emails, you see. I don't you know go through your there. emails. Then why you got yeah, on your, your phone, phone locked. Then? How can I go through your emails and your then phone why is you locked? got on your phone then? You see how this is hurt, Ms. Melvin. Mm hmm Are you cheating with these women? I never seen any women. I never met them a day in my life. Have you physically cheated with anybody? No, sir. To further investigate this, to find out if this goes beyond just flirting, the court ordered Mr. Reed to undergo a polygraph examination, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Michael Williams into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. How are you, Mr. Williams? Good afternoon. How are you doing, Judge? Good. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Mr. Williams, you are a certified polygraph examiner, is that correct? That's a fact. And Mr. Reed was ordered to undergo a polygraph examination. Yes, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Reed, were you involved in a sexual relationship with a woman you were FaceTiming with when Ms. Melvin kicked in the bathroom door? What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? Coming up. What did the lie detector determine? There was no significant physiological response on this question, indicating that Mr. Reed was being truthful. All right, I saw you fan yourself like, oh, oh. Almost like a, a deep sign breath. of relief. All right. You also asked Mr. Reed, since the start of your relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than Miss Melvin? What was his response? Your Honor, his response was no. What did the lie detector determine? Well, Your Honor, on this question, Mr. Reed was being truthful. I 
am so happy that it was not a duck, because it was quacking, walking <laughs> like a duck. <laughs> so, Ms. Melvin, tell him what you're thinking right now. It made me love you even more now. Now we can get married when we get back. I know that's right. <laughs> Mr. Reed, you see how the evidence mounted up. In order for this relationship to go forward, you have got to let her trust you. And in order for her to trust you, you've got to stop doing things to make her distrust you. If you spent as much time focusing on her as you did on these other apps, your relationship would be fine. That's what you need to focus on from here on out. Ms. Melvin? Yes, ma'am. Put this behind you. I Trusting am. so you all can go forward. Yes, ma'am, I am. All right. We have resources available for you. As you move forward, please take advantage of those. And as we say in this court, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. And don't call out any other woman's name in bed. Uh, I won't, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> court is adjourned.